All right. All right, guys, today I'm going to be putting in corner posts for my uh, orchard over here, and I'm going to be fencing it in, and mainly to keep the deer and the coyotes out. All right, guys, so this is my orchard. Uh, I got a few uh, fruit trees here, as you can see, these small ones here. Um, it's basically 100 feet this way and 200 feet this way. And these are my corners right here, and in each corner I got the same setup. I got three stakes set up for three posts that are going to be here, which is going to be my corner posts. So, uh, so what you can see what I did here is I lined up a string going all the way down to from this corner down to the other corner stake, which is going to be my corner post. And I want to line everything, all the other stakes, perfectly. Now at the halfway point, uh, I got two stakes there, they're eight feet apart, where I'm going to have posts also. It's going to be an H post there. Uh, so these are eight feet apart here, and each corner is that way too. So ideally what you want to do also get a string and bring it across diagonally on each corner. Make sure they're equal so you have a nice you know, square uh, garden or, uh, or orchard. Um, and also you want a string to line up like this um, so you know your posts are all even all the way down. That way when you have everything done and you look down that fence, everything's nice and straight. Alright guys, so let's uh, start drilling some post holes. Alright guys, the posts I'm using are 10 feet long and they're 6 inches at the tops. Um, they're treated and I also treated the bottoms. Um, about three and a half feet of it uh, just for extra assurance uh, these will be in the ground for a long time so since they're 10 feet long I'm putting them in the ground three feet and they should be sticking out of the ground seven feet
one down. 16 more to go. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my post put in. What I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be putting my post going across here, okay? Um, so I measured from the ground up here and I made a mark uh, five feet is the height where I'm going to be putting the uh, post going across. So I measured five feet here on that one and on that one. Uh, but I'll show you on this on this one here. All right, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I marked it right here, five feet, and right here, an inch lower. Okay. And the reason for that is I got this three eighths rebarb. Is I'm going to be drilling a hole going all the way through here. And this is going to support my post going across. Now, this one here, I can't drill at the same 50 inches I'll, I'll hit here. For this post going across here, I'm going to drill an inch lower uh, than the other one. All right, so I got my uh, 3 8 drill mounted here. And this sucker is pretty long. Tell you what, I, uh, I don't use a drill this long that often, if, if ever, okay? But for... Um, for doing posts like this, you need something at least 12 inches, you know. Um, but if you go to Arbor Freight, that's the time to buy them. Okay, I, I got three of these, uh, actually six, two packs, three in each, uh, various sizes. They're like 10 bucks, 10 bucks per pack. So three drills for 10 bucks. That's pretty good. I just had to put a new tip on them. That's about it. But what I'm gonna do? is find your center now I'm using 3 8 uh, uh, rebarb there and so I'm using a 3 8 drill got to keep peck drilling it because the chips can't get out. <laughs> Made it through. All right, I got my hole going through here. Now for one going this way, I brought it down one inch so they don't intersect with each other. So now what we have to do is measure in between each post for the cross brace. Eighty-six and three-quarter. All right. Now we got to cut our uh, post going across because they're eight footers. All right, guys. The next thing we're we're going to be doing here is measuring our. Uh, post and cutting it off. What was it? 86 and 3 quarter. Now we're going to put our 3 8 hole in here. And 
gonna have to be eyeballed. Good. And same thing on the other side. Now we're going to want to pound our uh, rebarb in there. You want it to, it just starts coming out. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Well, actually you don't want it to come out, you want to just be able to feel it.
All right, guys, now that our posts are all in place, uh, what I have to do here is I'm going to be hanging a gate on this side here. So all the weight is going to be on this post, and it's going to be pulling back on this post because I'm going to have a gate over here. What we need to do is put some uh, wire bracing. So we're going to put it from here going diagonally down to that corner okay and pull it tight that way when that weight of that gate is pushing down and pulling on this post it'll pull down at the strongest part of that post down which is down there in the corner um, and it'll support this post here and it'll keep it from falling down and we're going to do the same thing on the other side there run one from up there diagonally down to that corner also all right, here on the top, you can see I left a little bit of that rebar sticking out, about, uh, I don't know, inch, inch and a half. An inch would be just fine. Uh, this is where we're going to support the wire. The wire is going to lay on here and go down to that corner post. Okay, down here in this corner here, you want to get some fencing staples like this. These are one and three quarter inch. Um, and you want to go, I don't know, a few inches off the bottom. Don't put it straight. Put it a little bit on, a, on an angle, diagonally like this. And we'll just go here. There we go. All right, guys, now we're going to get some of this. This is 9-gauge wire here. Uh, it's pretty heavy-duty stuff. Uh, I got this at Tractor Supply. Uh, I think it's like 15 bucks or 15 or $16 for, I think it's 170 feet of this stuff, something like that. 9-gauge um, is heavy-duty stuff, more than good enough for this. Um, we're going to wrap this around a couple times, and... Um, and then I'll show you how I'm going to tighten it up. Alright, we're going to feed this through that fencing staple. Bring it around here a few times. All right, guys, so essentially what I did here is got the wire, wrapped it around twice, and then the ends here, I wanted to meet somewhere near the middle. Uh, if not, a little closer to the end, to the bottom here is even better. But the middle is fine. Uh, you want to tighten these as tight as you can get it by hand. Uh, it's okay, it's going to be loose right now, but we're going to tighten that up. Uh, so we're going to bring these two together with this clip right here. So essentially what I'm using is this clip right here. Um, you just put the wires, both wires through here and tighten these nuts up. And uh, then I'll show you how to tighten the wire up. So we're going to bring one end through here and the other one through the other end. Uh, you can get a pair of pliers and kind of pull it tight, somewhat tight. And we're going to tighten these up. Now I'm using the vice grips just to hold the wires together right now so I can tighten this up. Now 
That should do it. All right. Now what we want to do is cut off the excess here. Now I have a piece of, uh, this is a half inch rebar, two inches, or two inches. <laughs> a half inch rebar that's two feet long, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in here and we're gonna wrap this thing around, okay? And, and keep twisting this around and tighten it up. And when it gets tight enough, it's gonna go right up against this piece here, okay? When you put it, when you find, you gotta find the area where you're gonna where you're gonna want this, okay? So for me, to, in order to rest on the other side up against here like this, it's gonna have to be right about here, okay? So that's where I'm gonna have to put this. And that's getting pretty tight. I mean that that strengthened it strengthened it a whole heck of a lot. Okay. It's about as tight as I'm going to want to get it. He ain't going nowhere. All right guys, just for safety, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put one of these fencing staples here. Just so this doesn't let loose and go uh, cracking you upside the head. <laughs> All right guys, essentially I am done. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna wrap the wire around the post twice, okay, and on top of the rebar. Same thing down here, okay. Put your uh, fencing nails down there. I put two going in diagonally, and I have yet to put one more on this side here, just for extra added assurance. But anyways, somewhere down the middle, or down this way farther, uh, tie your uh, two pieces together, start wrapping this around, and then for safety, just put one here just so this doesn't come off or slide off or anything like that. Okay. Same deal here, wrapped it around, let it hit up against here and put a fencing nail, fencing nail there for safety. All right guys, that's it on uh, bracing a corner post. I mean, there's other ways of doing this and there's special tools and special cables you can buy, but you know, this is cheap and simple and it works, okay? And they've been doing this a long time. Uh, so now, when I do put my gate here, the weight pulling on this post, it'll just pull on that corner down there. And uh, they won't move. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.